Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert footers and headers onto your PowerPoint presentation. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I said footers before headers. Now usually we think of headers and footers as headers and footers, putting headers first. The reason we don't typically put headers on PowerPoint is because a lot of the title slides and title information is up here in this area. So typically we don't put headers on, on a PowerPoint presentation. So if you guys want a video on headers, I'm going to uh, make a video on that in the future, or if you need it right away, just request it in the comment section. For now, we're going to focus on footers. And so to put in a footer onto PowerPoint, all you have to do is go to the Insert tab, and then you go over here to the text group and then you click on header and footer. Now I'm going to go over some of the options that you have when you actually choose this link but this is the content that appears at the very bottom of the page right down here in the footer section. Alright so I click on header and footer and then the first thing that we need to notice is that there's two tabs up at the top. There's one that says slide and there's one that says notes and handouts. The one that says slide means that the footer will actually appear on the slide even while you're giving a presentation so people are going to see right down here that you've put a footer on it okay now this is something that you need to consider right at this time because if you're going to have the footer on the slide just know that if you have something down there that might be kind of distracting for uh, the people that are seeing the presentation it could be kind of confusing for them or uh, distracting for them so uh, a lot of times you want to put them on the notes and handouts. Now the difference between slide and notes and handouts is once again slide appears on the slide at the bottom. Notes and handouts will only appear whenever you uh, create a notes and handouts page that's printed for your um, audience. So if you have an audience that's taking some notes, it might be a good idea to put maybe the date and time at the bottom as well as the name of your company, something like that. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to show you first how it would look on the slide. And so I'm going to click right here on slides. And we have some options as far as how it's going to look. And then we have a preview screen right over here on the right side. And so this says date and time. If I click this checkbox, immediately notice that the date and time by default goes into this left section here. Now now this date and time is good if you want to uh, have the date um, at the bottom of your PowerPoint presentation for whatever reason. If you think the people need to see the date, you put that right there. Okay. The next one right here is the slide number and when you click that you'll see that the slide number goes into the right side of the slide right down there. And then finally you'll see that this footer section is right here and when I click that that's going to go right into the middle. And this part here is interesting because when you click it, you actually have to type in what you want to be there. I'm going to type the name of the company, Avid Vintage. Okay, and then you have one more option down here at the bottom. It says don't show on title slide. Okay, so if um, you have a title slide that's kind of like this one, it's pretty plain, and you want people to just focus on the presentation title, well, maybe you click that checkbox and it won't show up there. Okay, and then you click apply to all. All right, so I'm going to click this and you'll see. I click apply to all and you'll see that since I'm on the title slide nothing actually shows up here so we're not going to see anything but as I scroll down you're going to see alright now we have some things in the footer and the footer is uh, the text looks grayed out just like it would in Microsoft Word or something like that and you'll see that we have the date right here the um, name of the company right here and in the bottom right corner let me lower myself there okay there's the um, section right there with the slide number and as you scroll through your slides you're gonna see each of those appear alright so that looks fine but what we're going to do now is uh, kinda maybe edit our options a little bit to see how it would look when we print it out so first we're gonna take a look at how it's printed if I go to file and I go to print you're gonna see how this would look okay there's page one there's page two and so on okay and so that's how it would look when it's printed and what happens if I switch maybe up uh, the how these slides are printed? Um, if you see right here, I have currently full page slide selected. What if I choose maybe a notes page? How's that going to look? Notice on the notes page here, I do have a footer. It's currently set to the page number only. And the footer actually does appear in this section here. Let's look at some differences now. Now if I go back to the insert tab and into the header and footer group, and let's say I go to header and footer, and I go here to my notes and handouts pages, you'll see that not too much is actually on the far corners of the slides, right? So over here, we do have that page number. That's why we saw it on the print preview there, but we don't have much else. And so if I click on the date and time right up here, that's gonna go in the top right, the header, which will go right here, 
and so the header's uh, going to be right there. Maybe I, uh, if I, I could fill something in here, I'm just going to type in my name here. And for the footer, I'm going to click right there, and I'll type in the name of this video. Insert headers and footers. Okay. So then if I click apply to all, check this out. I click apply to all, you're not going to notice any changes on the slides. That's because again, we did not make the changes to the slides, we made the changes to the notes and handouts. So what that means is if I go to file, and I go to print, and I change this to notes pages, you're going to notice those four header or those four changes that I made. There's my name, there is the date, there's the uh, details, and there's the page number. So that's the difference between uh, these two sections right here on slide and notes and handouts. So you've now learned how to put footers onto your actual slides as well as uh, how to put your all of the headers and footers onto your notes and handouts pages. So if you hand out any notes and handouts, maybe you don't need those um, footers on your actual slide because again it may distract people from your actual presentation. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day and thanks again for watching.